How Shiva overcame lust by Sadhguru. When we say Shiva, the word Shiva has become synonymous with the third eye. The third eye, what it means is, these two eyes are to look outside. These two eyes are capable of showing you the physicality of the existence. These two eyes can only perceive that which is physical. The third eye is an inward focused eye, it's not going to open up upon your forehead. The third eye is an inward looking eye. But you have heard stories, Shiva opened his eyes and he burnt Kama. In India, there is a god of love and lust called Kama. Kama means lust, which you don't like to face it head on, so you make it love because you need some aesthetic to it. So he hides behind a tree and shoots an arrow at Shiva's heart. It hits him and Shiva gets a little disturbed. Then he sees it's Kama that is, it's his own lust coming up. Then he opened up his third eye, a fiery eye and burnt Kama. He was hiding behind the tree, but he was burned into ashes. Then Shiva took the ashes of this burnt Kama and smeared himself that I put this thing to rest for good. That is the general story told to the people. But you tell me, your lust arises within you or behind the tree. No, you may go behind the tree, that's another matter. But where does it arise, within you? Desire is not hanging outside. The common story told to the public is he was hiding behind the tree, and he burnt him, opened his eyes and burnt him, and then he took that ash and smeared himself. The yogic dimension of the story is, Kama arose within him, he opened his third eye, burnt him and then ash slowly oozed out of his body clearly showing him, everything was laid to rest. <laughs>